Hi. So I'm going to be helping my dad unload the battery. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This episode I did get the battery picked up, so we are going to, like he said, unload the battery, get it off the trailer, uh, and then after that we'll go through the build and exactly how we're going to put everything together. So stay tuned. So now that we have a battery in here, we have to do a couple things. First of all, the charge cable port is long to the cable that we have. We have a square lug connector on here, but on here we have a completely different connector, which is for, I guess, replacement or it's an old style connector because all the new ones come with this one. So what I did is I went ahead and ordered a replacement square lug connector that we'll have to install in there. Item number two, while we're in the penthouse, which is what Tesla calls this back portion with the charger and contactors, is we have to change the pyro fuse. And I happen to have one right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this one is good before we attempt to put it in here. To get inside the penthouse, we need BP sockets. Thank you. And for that, you have to order those and it's not the cheapest thing. It's like $30 for a set of five sockets. So, a obnoxiously large box for just five sockets. And the difference with these sockets instead of the E sockets, is torques are six points, the EP are security torques, which are five pointed. So go ahead, take the cover off, and then we'll start replacing the stuff. We're gonna check the fuse. 
fuse before we put it in. And to do that, we're gonna take and put it here into ohms, turn on our indicator, and it means we got good contact across the whole fuse, it means it didn't blow. The fuse and is good. That's right. Basically. And we want to be careful not to touch these prongs right here, because that's the leads to the pyro side of it. If you touch them and you do get a static shock on it, it could blow uh, blow the fuse right now. Would explode? Yep, and break the connection inside. And blow up everything around it? Yes, everything. Blow everything up. All right. When you so sound like that, that means he's uh, <laughs> just pretending. All right, so the fuse is good, so we're gonna put it to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and take off all the bolts from the penthouse cover, pull the penthouse, and then uh, start swapping over the connector and put the new fuse in. I'm not sure if we need to take these guys off right here. Let's find out. I found this beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off as well. And this and these two are regular E10. And voila. So those last three bolts, they held on right here and right here to this upper control beam box. Now inside we have three main fuses, and then, so those are for our accessories, and then we have our pyro fuse right here. Let's do a quick check on it. They told me it was dead, so it should be dead. And it is most definitely dead. All right. So as you can see in here, all these orange connectors are high voltage connectors. So we've got to be careful when we're working in here so we don't accidentally contact anything. This is our pyro fuse that we're going to change out. So it is certified dead. D-E-D. Dead. And then to change this guy out right here, you need to take off these four up here, and then down here, we need to get these two down here. And this is the old style, so they're actually round. And then the new style, they use a flat bus bar, which is also wrapped in high temp plastic all around to protect it. So we'll go ahead and start with this guy while the fuse is dead and that way we don't electrocute ourselves because there's no electricity right now. I did just check both halves of the battery. We are sitting at a toasty 195 volts DC on each battery half. So that means this battery is probably roughly 70 to 80% charged right now. So that's awesome. Uh, all right, like I said, the contactors are turned off right now. We have no voltage at the terminals here. So we'll go ahead and take the hat off and the bottom. I believe it looks like that's a 13 and these are your same EP10s. First, you gotta dislodge this little white piece right here, 
and then you push down on the yellow tab and you disconnect the can connector. Now carefully take this out. And now let's put our new piece in here. Carefully, carefully. And that's in. So now can. Push that in. Lock the white piece down. So now that's locked. Two 13s go back in and then the EP10s. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts. These are also 13 mils, so we're gonna pull them real quick. Do a swap on our fuse to our good one. And then close this all back up. And the biggest thing, you, got, you don't have any potential across these two terminals right here, but once either of these and you touch the case, you may have a little bit of a problem. So there's the little connector that sends the signal to blow the fuse. And here we go. one whole good battery. All right, folks, and there it is. I got it all closed back up. Unfortunately, my GoPro decided to start acting up. I'm not sure what's going on with the battery, but it kept cutting out on me. So we got all the Torx back on there. Obviously, we swapped this guy out. Now, for this connector, uh, and in order to put one of these big square block connectors on here, you open it up and at the top, it's got an open slot. And let's get over this guy right here. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Bring it up and over, bring it down. And then, when you pull the lever back, it will lock it all the way down. Like that. And now, our can and everything is connected up into there. So we are primed and ready to test the whole system when we get our controller in. All right, people, that's gonna be it for this episode. We got the battery squared away. I know I said we were gonna talk about the build. Unfortunately, that's gonna to have to wait because I have the car lift in and I gotta get that installed. So, what we're gonna do is when the DDR actually comes in, we'll talk about the build. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed and like what you saw, subscribe down below. See you next time.